a little weird. But, you know, there was there's no corny dialogue. Like, not a single second of it was bad, in my opinion. So that's, like, saying a lot, right? And that actually has to do with them voicing the game completely in the in English first and Japanese second, right? They wanted to make this a very international game that was uh, had a huge appeal, right? And so even when they interviewed the voice actors, they said, hey, you know, whatever you come up with or if you want to try saying this differently, we're going to do that for the game. It wasn't like, oh, okay, this is what the Japanese people say. So we have to translate it to the best of our ability to English, right? And have it make sense, right? But yeah, all in all, man, it was a phenomenal experience. The gameplay was great. You know, there were a ton of side quests. Well, not all of them were super cool. There were a lot of them that had really cool story gems in them. Uh, and then it was an extremely fun action game, right? Like, I was just totally engaged. I don't know what this is. It's somewhat no big deal. But yeah, it was, it was just, like, absolutely amazing. It was so good to see FF finally come back. And, you know, it's just, like, such a solid 9 out of 10 game. Getting the Platinum Trophy, I was addicted. I couldn't put the game down. So, yeah, I feel like Final Fantasy has finally returned uh, to its greatness that hasn't been seen since 2006. So if you guys have a PlayStation 5 or, you know, you haven't picked up Final Fantasy in a really long time or you're still unsure, I wouldn't say the game is good enough to get a PlayStation 5 for. Um, if you're a massive Final Fantasy fan, you probably already got a PlayStation 5, right? So... Don't go, like, digging out the cash, you know, 500 bucks just so I can play 16, right? I wouldn't say that. Don't go there. But it, it truly was a return to greatness, like something that I haven't felt since Final Fantasy XII. So I highly, highly recommend the game. It was addicting. It was fun. It was phenomenal. It was thrilling. It was a roller coaster ride the whole way through. Get the game if you got a PS5, man. What are you doing here? Turn this video off and go get... Go get Final Fantasy 16, right? So that's all I'll say about it, man. I I, I absolutely loved it, and uh, I can't wait to play it in the future. If there's any sort of DLC or update to the game, I am there. So there you go. That's the review of Final Fantasy 16.